This is a catcher's analysis video for Charlie Harris. Charlie is a 12U player on the Bombers 12 uh, red team. Uh, he's been doing the catching sessions all winter. Uh, some vast improvement with Charlie, some great things. Um, we're not going to see as much of the vast improvement here because most of what I'm seeing that I, I'm really enjoying him, uh, his improvement is in uh, just raw receiving, actually catching the ball and pulling it in uh, and blocking. Uh, and in addition, his framing has really come a long way. His throwing has a little bit more progress to go, so this might be not a representative uh, account of how far he's come. Uh, but nevertheless, uh, still knowing how he used to throw, this is a, a pretty good uh, example of how, how far he's developed with his throwing, and there should be some... Uh, good points here for things that he can work on. So let's start off by watching this video at full speed. Here's Charlie's throw. Boom, down to the end. Okay, so there's a couple things I see in this video that I would like for him to work on. These are things, these are actually all things that historically Charlie has needed to work on. So let's take it, we're going to go at slow speed here. So, uh... The first thing we want to do before we even roll the tape is let's look at his feet. Um, when a catcher is uh, in a position where they may have to throw the baseball, there's a runner on base, uh, there's two strikes, so there's a, a potential for a dropped third, he's going to have to throw out the runner. Or if uh, he has a feeling that the batter may be uh, ready to drop a bunt for a hit, he's got to be in a, a position to throw. Uh, not in a less relaxed stance. So when that happens, we do want that right foot, the plant foot, to be a little bit back in front of the, uh, the left foot, um, and Charlie is doing that well. Uh, we do want the shoulders to stay fairly square uh, to the throwing position. So Charlie is cheating a little bit more here than I would like it. I want to see. I would like to see him just a little more square to the throw, not completely square, but a little more than he is. That right shoulder of his right here is dropped back just a hair more. Tiny thing. Uh, but I'd like to see it just a little more forward when the throw is coming in. We're not actually doing a throw here. We're starting dry with the glove in the mitt uh, to be able to allow the catchers to focus on pure mechanics from a good receiving position. So, starting with that setup, uh, the only thing I would add is I wanted to see him a little lower. You see how high up he is. It's almost like he's, he's coming out of his crouch right away. He sees he's standing up a little bit higher. Uh, if you look at some of the other catchers, they're doing a good job staying low. Uh, that does a couple things. One, it increases the potential energy in the legs. If your legs are more bent, you can unbend them, exploding into the throw, driving energy forward uh, into the throw using your legs. Uh, the other thing is... If you're up too high, you give a high target in the zone, which means it's a lot less likely you're actually going to catch the ball and a lot more likely that it's going to be hit. Um, so those are just a couple things to, uh, to, to think about with Charlie for setting up lower. So boom, he's starting right now. He's starting his transfer. He brings the mitt over. One thing I like is... He's getting a little better right in here if you look at it. He had a tendency to just point that mitt at the ground even when he was receiving a live pitch. And then he'd have to kind of jerk it open up to receive the ball, which just led to imprecise receiving. He's getting a lot better at giving a good open target, which uh, increased the strength and confidence of his receiving. So this is good. But now moving forward, let's look at the hand is in a nice protected place. Uh... He keeps his a little bit lower than I like. Um, he's, he keeps it um, kind of down here, and he pulled it up. Um, I would prefer for that hand to start right where he has it right now at the hip. Um, but this is okay. But when he transfers, look at where this transfer happens. It's right about there. The ball is in his hand here. Um, and that level is significantly lower than we want. So the ball starts right about there, right? And we want to take it directly to the ear. So what Charlie's doing with this with this low transfer is he's going boom across and then he has to bring it up to his ear. So what that means is he's going from here to the hand, then he's doing something else that we'll talk about in a second. He's reaching back, and then he has to go to his ear. 
So that's two sides of a triangle, whereas the much faster path is just, boom, take it straight up there, the throwing hand meets it up there, boom, and you throw. Uh, that's a significantly quicker transfer and a quicker release on the whole thing. But now he's got the ball in his hand. So two things here I want to focus on. Uh, one, he's almost standing straight up and down right now. Um, I would like to see him a lot lower, a lot lower, because he's, he's, he's getting rid of all of the energy here in his leg, right? Like right in there, that's almost straight up and down. Uh, and that's not how we want it to be. We want it to be uh, nicely uh, contracted so that he can explode into the throw. Moving forward, oh no, he's pulling that ball way back. The ball shouldn't be that far behind his body. It shouldn't be that low. We want it right up at the ear. You see he's going even further back, boom. So he's kind of throwing this, look at that. Look at how far back that ball is. Um, he's throwing this like a pitcher or like an outfielder, not like a catcher. We want it straight to the ear to explode. Be because again, this is all just time. It takes a long time to get the ball from here, back here, up to here, and then ready, boom. Now, here, he's got the ball at his ear, right? Cool. But all that time he wasted getting it there when he could have just gone boom. Now he's standing straight up and down, and he's taken a lot out of his throw, and it's taken just more time. Once he does get rid of it, boom. I like how he keeps, you see how he keeps his elbow high? Great. That's perfect. Like right, right there. That looks pretty nice, uh, other than the fact that he's standing a little bit straight up and down. So if we can just get him quicker to that point, I'd be pretty happy. Um, good use of the lower half following through what he has. He, if he was a little more compact, uh, he'd get a little more power off of it. Let's go and look just at the feet here. So what we want to see is a reminder straight across and a little stab step. Um, so let's see how he does. He does go straight across with uh, his right foot. That's good. It's a firm plant. He's standing straight up and down, which I don't like. Now look at the stride. He's coming straight across. Uh, this is similar. Will actually has a very similar throwing style. So this stride that he has here is much longer than we want it to be. And what that, he, he almost has to do that because he's um, reaching so far back with the throw. All of these things are connected as a chain. So when he's reaching that far back, he strides farther. I'm actually not sure which is cause and which is effect here. I tend to think reaching back is the cause. In order to be balanced when he's throwing, he needs to take a much longer step. So I would like to see that front foot plant maybe right about there, right? And he's still low to the ground. And that baseball's right here at his ear, and he's exploding into it down towards second. Rather than wasting that energy going up, sending, wasting that time sending the ball back. So boom, all the way through. So good, Charlie's uh, obviously gained a lot of strength because this throw in and of itself was significant, like the throw itself was significantly more effective than it, I, I think I've seen from him. It's good, solid, straight throw. Uh, we just need to do some things to eliminate the time. You know, in his team, the runners aren't going to be great, uh, or the pitchers aren't going to be great at holding runners on. And by the time he gets to this point, and he hasn't even released the ball yet, the runner's more than halfway to the base. Um, you know, they're going to have a big lead, they're going to have a good jump. And by getting a much faster release on the ball, getting rid of it much more quickly, um, he's going to be able to take advantage of his newfound strength and power with his upper half and his lower half and get that ball down to second really a heck of a lot quicker. So the important lessons for Charlie, don't reach back with the baseball. Stay a little bit lower uh, when you're um, making that transfer, keeping the body lower. The transfer itself should be high up near the ear and then just throw from right here, throw from the ear. Um, and I think he's going to have a, a lot of success, uh, particularly uh, in comparison to last season. I, I think he will be able to gun down several runners, just shave those few tenths of a second off by staying low, transferring high, 
uh, shortening the stride and exploding into it. Charlie's strong enough, he can throw a laser beam without having to reach all the way back and throw like an outfielder. All in all, good job, Charlie. Looking forward to seeing how it goes this season. Thanks.